Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve this caddis problem. It's called missing numbers. And what the problem is basically saying is that uh, some children will start counting uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. And we have to remind them that they forgot to say 4. So um, it says please write a program that will help you and your students um, identify the missing numbers when they are counting. So the first line of input contains a single integer n um, and so I'm going to bring up my VS code and move it over here and let's actually make this a little bit smaller so we can read the entire thing and what we're going to do is it said the first input is the single integer n so we're going to do n equals int input and from there it says the next n lines contains one number that the child recited and each number is between 1 and 200 and they are listed in increasing order and there are no duplicates okay so the first thing that we need to recognize is that it always should the first number should always be one um, if it's not then that is a missing number so um, what we can do is we actually just want to set up the input first, which is 4i in range n. And then we get the input at that one. And I always like using the variable x because, um, oh, I forgot that. I always like using the variable x because um, it represents like kind of uh, like the x at that point. And so what we need to do is we need to track which ones they have missed. So to do that, we're actually going to um, kind of just go until it expects. So if we have, uh, like in this sample test case, we have nine, uh, nine integers. So technically, it should go uh, from one, one to nine, or I think one to eight. No, no, one to nine, and. Uh, there should be nothing else and obviously it goes to 13 so that means that there has been 9 10 11 12 13 so we're gonna have we know that we'll have four just by looking at the last uh, example and um, and that is true obviously in the sample output so what we need to do is we actually need to store what we expect to happen what we expect the number to be so expected is one and we're gonna set that to one and the reason being is because the first expected number is one and I'm not kind of just pulling that on my butt or anything but the way the reason my reasoning for coming to that is that we know that there are going to be at least one um, integers in this like list there's gonna be at least one and so if it's always um, between one and two hundred and they're always listed in increasing order, we can know that the first expected one is one. So now that we know that, um, if it's in increasing order, then the next expected one would be two, three, and then vice versa. So we're gonna just increment expected in here. And now we need to do kind of the logic for checking it. So if X does not equal expected, then what do we do? Uh, we definitely know um, that uh, expected is not in this list. So we definitely will have to print that out later. So let's actually put these numbers that were not expected in a list. So we're going to make that. And I always like using L because it stands for list. Um, and I'll just do that. And L.append expected. Okay, and so if we do this, and then we we loop through all the values and expected, if we do this and we put in this input, and I always like putting my files, uh, my input in files, so then I can do. Python 3 test up high in and it looks like I have an error. An int object is not iterable. So 
what is that problem? Oh, I instead of expected I need to do that. Um, okay. So once we have that, it is actually printing out one, two, three, four. And you know why it's printing that out? Um, it's printing that out because we don't, when we have this first test case, we expect the first number to be one. And in our, in our sample test case, and I'll actually bring this to the side so we can see. In our sample test case, this is two. So if X is not equal to expected, then it'll append it to the list. Okay. I mean, that's what we want. We want it to be appended to the list. Um, but once we do that, once we, once we have expected it to be one and X was two, we then increment expected and expected is now equal to two. And so what we need to fix that because we don't, we don't want to expect two again because we've already encountered two. We know that they knew how to count two. So the way that we do that actually is going to help us solve a couple of issues. So we're going to loop while x does not equal expected. So we can do while x does not equal expected. And we can actually bring this into here. And doing this, if we run this, this is going to loop um, until x does equal expected and it'll stop the loop iteration. So once expected is equal to x, then it'll do that and then it'll move on to the next number using this. So you may not see it right yet, but let me explain it in a little bit simpler terms. So when we look for this 2, we're seeing if 2 does if 2 does not equal 1, then we add it to the list. Okay, and we increment. Okay, so expected does now equals two, and we expect two. But since we talked about how that was a problem before, we now we increment this again, and now it's three. We expect three, which is what we want, because right here we want to expect three, and that is a missing number, as we can see in the correct output right here. It is uh, one of the correct outputs. So just bringing this over, um, if we test this, we get 1, 3, 6, and 12. And that is correct. And so what happens if we do an actual correct output? It prints nothing. So what we actually need to do is we need to make an if statement. If the length, if length of L um, equals 0, then we print good job and then else we do this whoops and I think that that will actually get us the correct output so if I submit that wait and yeah it gives us the correct output so super happy with this I hope you understood how that kind of went down um, not too hard of a problem but if you found it challenging it's totally totally uh, fine because um, this is somewhat of a challenging problem to understand hope you guys learned something uh, catch you next time bye